welcome to to enable help in this video I'm going to give you options as a teacher as to what you can do in the event you do have internet access or don't have internet access so at the moment we connect it to a hub it says to enable hub and it does not have internet it says no internet but it's secure and um, if I access the hub this is the menu that it brings up so if I now try and connect to the internet, so if we want to go to toenable.org, it will not load because we do not have internet access. So this is a bit of a dilemma if you're trying to access digital content and you're unable to access uh, the internet. So for this specific purpose, we've developed the mobile app. Okay, so this is an app which loads on Windows 10, it loads on Windows 8, it loads on Windows Mobile, it loads on an Android device, so it's a tablet or Android phone, and it loads on an Apple device on Apple phone. So in this space, what it's, it seems to think it's got internet at the moment, but it loads up all the subjects that you need to load up. If I go to mathematics grade 10, and I can pick a week and I can access, that's worked out, it doesn't have internet anymore, it's just giving me a green circle saying it's connected to um, content, I am able to download content onto my device and I'm able to play content. So even though I do not have internet, using the mobile app, and this mobile app which has been explained earlier is the one for Windows, provides you access to the offline content. Okay, as a teacher it allows you to access a video, download the video onto your device. Let me just pause that. It allows me to download the, the video onto my device, and I'll let it download. It allows me to play the video full screen, so I can play this to my class. So within, within your class with a video projector, you can still use it. So to enable is accessible completely offline. There is no internet. The resources, the resources that we have permission for, are available offline. You cannot take an online assessment, okay, because you do not have internet. So the power of a digital library is that even if you don't have internet, we can still deliver and you can still use digital, digital resources in your teaching and learning experience. Uh, if you are only online, you obviously don't have access to the local content. So I'm now connected to uh, the web, to the internet, but I'm not connected to a local hub. And um, when the app tries to work this out, it's going to see that it's not connected. So it's trying to download and it'll work out for itself and actually it's not connected. But in this space, what I can do is I can go to the online space and I can access all the functionality. So if you have an internet connection, you can use the website. If you don't have an internet connection, you can use the app. Um, this app seems to be a bit confused. Let's just get it to reload. Um, but you can use the application in both an online environment and in an offline environment. There it's doing the checking to see whether it's connected or not. So, simple rule of thumb. If I have internet, I can use the website, which gives me a whole lot of functionality the app doesn't give me. If I don't have internet, but I have a digital library, I can use the app to access content off the local digital library. But you need to get a digital library in order to do that. So here, the app is running in the online space only. Um, but as I said, in the offline space, in the online space, everything's great. I can access the website and I can access the app. But in the offline space, it's the app that matters. Um, the, the, the website will not operate unless you have an internet connection. So there, we, there you see the immediate change to say, I'm still functioning, I'm still happy, I'm connecting, collecting content locally. Uh, the website, on the other hand, is not going to work. You must have internet for the website, you don't need internet for the app. So that is the fundamental difference between the two. Um, and if you want the app to work offline, you do need a digital library. Um, otherwise, you need to access the content all, offline, all online. I hope that is, uh, helps you in understanding the difference between the app and the online uh, portal.